Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. I am doing fantastic. Uh, today's going to be a very fun episode just because so much stuff has happened on the server and I have so much footage. Now, I had released a previous video to this one that I made private. So if you did see a video from me, that video is now private. Um, just wasn't doing very well. So I decided to remove it. I'm just not trying to stress YouTube as much anymore. So by the way, Obsidian, interesting. It's uh, okay, what's going on? Let's, is there, I wonder if there's like a sign in here somewhere. Somebody just decided to cover my non-existent bed up. Okay, sure game, sure, sure. Uh, is there a sign? <laughs> there is not. Okay, I have my suspicions. I would think this is probably Scar. In today's episode, we're facing the Pharaoh in TCG. By the way, I have a bunch of content coming to the second channel for the, the TCG stuff. Season two was well underway. We have um, a, a lot of new cards in the game, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, we meet up with Pharaoh. Um, we did the Elytra race at Falses. There's a bunch of videos or a bunch of content of like me and Cub, Scar, and Etho hanging out. So we get a lot of collab stuff to get through. But uh, we're going to be doing a project first. Also, this parrot has moved so much. I was sitting in my base the other day, and I actually found her sitting right here. I'm, I'm like really curious to see if somebody actually put her there. If you guys have any leads, let me know. So the first thing that we are doing today, though, we finally are going to connect ourselves up to the nether hub. Now, this is actually going to be kind of tricky just because where our portal is located, we're kind of in the middle of everything. So let's go into the nether and see where we actually come out now. I know, but so we come out right here and the tunnel is right up there. So I'm like trying to think about how I want to get it down there. Obviously, we're going to have to do some sort of fall, like fall pattern, right? Because I can't do a castle pattern like going vertically down with that. That's not really going to work very well. So <laughs> Um, anyways, I'm going to go into a uh, bit of a little bit of a time lapse. I hope you guys enjoy the build. Okay, so tunnel's done. I want to redo the outside of it because I'm not a huge fan of that, but I did put my name in the book here. So let's do a quick tour. Like I said, I hate I hate this. I want to redo this. I struggle with like entrances there, but this is our tunnel. So let's just go down through here. I just made it kind of like a cave. I wasn't sure really what else to do, and I wanted it to curve down to the bottom. Now, I could have easily just put the portal in the wall, but that's boring, so... I do like how the rest of the cave turned out, except for the entrance, though. So let me know what you think. But uh, on to more pressing matters. Um, I meet up with Cub because he's starting a museum. And I have a lot of uh, antiquities for them. But 
when we're when we come back i've got an evil master plan that is gonna get us super rich so enjoy dude i i, I legitimately think that i'm being trolled by somebody the bird has moved again <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so you found this bird for context in your storage system, right? So yeah, what? so the the first time that I found her, she was like outside near a tree, like down the hill. Okay. And then like a day and a half ago, I was in my base and I kept hearing parrots and I showed a picture to everybody. That's where I found her. She was down here. So like if you look, there's like a little spot right there. I for sure yep. think I'm being trolled by like it's gotta be like Zed or somebody, dude. Uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> who, who would name a parrot Gabby? Maybe I don't know. I've never heard of that Gabby, so you can't set it down. I'm I have no idea. I've never, I've never messed with parrots before, so. I so I got you. I, got you. Jeff, I uh, Jeff, yes, sir. Yes. I got, I got a question for you. Okay. You were the guy who made the Easter egg hunt, right? Yes, Back sir. In uh, last year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have any leftover Easter eggs? Because I'm opening a museum up. Uh -huh. I need some Easter eggs. Follow me, good sir. Follow me. Down the steps. Down the steps. Uh, over here. Over here. All right. Up, up, up. Uh, 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 uh. It's, it's one of these. Player heads. Down at the bottom there. Uh, Boom. Heads. Oh, <laughs> snap. Wow, you got a lot. Uh-huh. I got golden eggs, too. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I, I actually found some golden eggs when I was blowing up the mansion. Uh-huh. Uh, later, later on in the season for the king. Oh, nice, nice. So I got I got one of those. I do not have a couple of these though. I, I need the, the pearl, the stress. Feel free to take what you need. Oh, seriously? Yeah, yeah, that's oh, fine. This will be huge. Yeah. Iskol, stress. You can always get more pearl. of them. So I got a doc. I got a me. I got a Suma. Pulse Joe. Impulse I need. Wells mm -hmm. I need. ZF. Okay, okay. Uh, XB. I need a Jevin. I'll take one of those. Right. Scar. Oh man. Okay. So I think I'm still missing Mumbo and Grin, but I hmm. think I can find those. Okay. So um, walk walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Go to this way. Okay. Over okay. Here. Very exciting. Top Very chest. Exciting. Top chest. Top chest. Oh wow! You got a lot of artifacts too. Dude, I I collect everything. Depending oh, on crystals. what you want, I might be able to let it go. Shields. Snowballs, some hats. Oh, you got a unique totem. You got the impulse head. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow, pulled pork. <laughs> is that advancement as well? Holy smokes, this is a lot of stuff. I know, right? Uh, I I'm a collector. For, for now, Jeb, I'm just gonna take these. Uh, I'm just gonna take some of these. Okay. These Easter eggs. Okay. But I may be back later because I still have to determine like how I'm laying stuff out in the museum. That works for I me. Maybe back later to uh, to let you know if, if I need uh, any any more stuff because that's that's impressive, man. Awesome, yeah. So basically, anytime we have an event on the server, after we're done, I go back and steal stuff. I am, oh, this, I'm a, go. I'm a, I'm a server thief. I don't care. Tell everybody. All right, all, <laughs> all right. right. So you might be, you might be a good guy to like supply the museum. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I'll, I'll keep that in mind, Jeff. Thanks so much for these yeah. Easter eggs, though. Oh, no so, problem, man. Take it easy. I hope you uh, have a good time building your uh, museum. Cheers, man. Bye. Thanks, man. Enjoy that clip of Cub. The bird has in fact moved again. But it's okay. Guys, let's talk master plan and how we're going to be unfathomably rich. So I have presented myself as an antiquities dealer, quotation marks, <laughs> to Cub and Cleo. So they think that I'm like the guy that has all of the stuff, right? Now, all of this stuff in this box is very legitimate. You know, we've got our TCG tournament and everything, but... What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quotation marks. Uh, hold on. Where's that? Uh, quotation marks, archaeological dig so that I can find more of these. But what I'm going to do inside of the dig is make a special room where we can make fake copies. Oh, yes. So we're going to be selling these antiquities to both of them for profit. Because there's no more free items. No, God, no. On top of that, I'm considering making an auction house to make them bid for the items that they think that, that are legit but are actually going to be fake. So not only will I make them give me more money, but it's going to be fake. So we can just make as many as we want. So what I need from you guys, I want you to think back in past seasons of important items that should be found in my my quotation marks dig site 
and leave me a comment in the comment section below so we can we can get all the diamonds all right it's gonna be hilarious and it's gonna be awesome because we're gonna be super rich so <laughs> anyways let's move on so next up i am facing the pharaoh now i have already lost to the pharaoh once my deck kind of has a mind of its own so in the next part of the video hopefully the deck will perform uh so when we come back we'll talk about the match a little bit i hope you enjoy who dares challenge the pharaoh i do you're going down saga i would seriously doubt that <laughs> We'll see that. Getting me one of them <laughs> trophies. We'll see if you can get this beautiful TCG trophy. I want that trophy. All right, let me get my deck out. Let me get my deck out. Uh, here. And here. Yeah. Good. I'm good to go whenever. Put it in here. It is a uh, tournament compliant deck. Yeah, right? yeah, minus, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, Sam. All right, these out, and there we go. Okay, that's out there. Are you good luck ready? to you? Oh, I, I don't need you, luck. I have the heart of the cards on my side. Uh huh. T C G. Easy as one, two, three. One, two, three. T C G, baby, you and me. I do not have an active deck. All right, I would like to take a look in this case. <coughs> Feel free. See what we got. Okay. Very good, very good. Okay, I will. Oh, you're going to reroll. Okay, cool. Yep. Reroll. Okay, I have an active hand this time. Okay. So. To start, so I will put a Joe on the board. Very good, very good. All right, uh, I am going to start off by playing a Pharaoh on the board. Okay. 300 health. What is the Pharaoh's special ability? Shibalba for 80. So oh. it's a roll, and I can heal any Hermit uh, for 80. Okay. Uh, and then, da, 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 da. okay, so I'm also going to play a card here. Okay. I'm going to play armor stand. Okay. I think, I guess I, I just put it down like this. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, to be honest with you. Maybe it just goes into the effect spot. So it says, use like a hermit card, has oh. 50 HP. Okay. Cannot attack, cannot attach cards. Opponent does not get a point when it's knocked out. Okay. Yeah, I would say so I just put it in another Hermit spot then. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Okay, and then I guess we just like get out like a 50 health thing. Like yeah. This. Well, my, my attack is 50, so I don't necessarily think you need the health. Okay, so then I'll pass the turn. I can't do anything first. Okay. Turn, so. To start my turn, I'm going to place an item onto Joe, then armor onto Joe. Okay. Um, then I'm going to knock out the armor stand with Grow Hills. All right. Very good. Very good. Just making sure we don't have any type of... Are you balanced? Oh, you are balanced. Yeah, okay. balanced. Too. Uh, okay, that will end my turn. Okay, I will attach the item to the Pharaoh. And I'm going to. Can you heal yourself with that attack? Uh, I can't self heal. I can heal other pharaohs though. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, so I'm gonna use splash potion of poison. Okay. Plus Tarje for fifty. So that's uh, fifty total, and you're also poisoned. Okay. I go down to two twenty. There we go. Oh, uh, poison. All right. To start my turn, mm -hmm. I'm going to do Grow Hills with TNT. So I'll do okay. 110. 
110, so I go down to 190. And then I'll end my turn. Okay. I am going to use flint and steel. Okay. I could use one of those right now. Burn my entire hand. Yep. Okay. Where did you get Shibalba from? Uh, it's from season seven. I had a. Oh. It's also from a. Also from the movie The Road to El Dorado. If you ever seen that, I have not. Gotcha. What's it about? It is about a group of adventurers that travel to the Yucatan, mm -hmm. meet the Aztec civilization pre-Spanish uh, conquest, okay. and are greeted as gods. Ooh. And so the idea is that you, in the the, the Aztec ritual, they send uh, worship to Shibalba, like they send like uh, yeah, like 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 bounty to Shibalba. In exchange for like good, uh, like rains and good oh, harvests. okay. And so the idea here is with the health, we're sending it to Shibawa to another. Ah, fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so I can't do anything with those cards there. So I pack with Tarje for another fifty. Okay, I'll go down to one seventy. Yes. My turn. I'm gonna go ahead and put another item under Joe. Mm -hmm. Then I am going to use Diamond Sword with Grow Hills again. Yep. So 90. 90 total this time. Down to 100. And then that'll end my turn. Okay. I'm gonna do another item on Cub. Okay. Then I will... <coughs> Excuse me. Curse of Vanishing. Your iron armor. Okay. You fool. You've played right into my trap card. <laughs> I see. I see. Uh, and then I'll attack with Shibalba for 80, plus the poison is 100. Okay, so I go down to 70. Yep. There we go. Okay, my there turn. Yes, so, mu ha 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 ha. Then I'm gonna play Golden Apple. Aha. Uh -huh. So I will okay. go up a hundo. There we go. There we go. Uh, so then I will use Grow Hills again for fifty. All right, down to fifty. And that'll end my turn. We could use another hermit. Right, it's a it's a close one. It's gonna be a one v one today. Yeah. Is that game? Yeah. So I think that is GG. Uh, I will attack with Shibalba for eighty. Okay. Plus that, so that's yeah. You go down a little bit, and then you attack again for fifty. Yeah. So. And I have extra I damage believe... this time too. So. Nice. I believe, Jeff. That is it. Woo! -hoo! Give Let's me that do. trophy. One, two. Wait for it. Wait for it. Congratulations, iJevin. You have defeated the Pharaoh and received oh, the yeah. TCG Pyramid Badge. Look at it. Oh, it's so fancy. It's Congratulations, so fancy. Jevin. Congratulations. I got to show you one other thing. Okay. Very very secret thing. Follow me. Follow okay. me. This is, this is only for winners. Okay. The, the okay. Pharaoh. You have to be good at parkour here. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now get up here. All right. This way. This way. Uh huh. Uh huh. Follow me into the secrets of the pyramid. Oh wow! Gotta swim in. Swim in. There Look at this. this! Wow! This is an exclusive area only for those who have defeated the pharaoh. Uh huh. You can use this as a locker room. Pre-game matches. You can sleep in here. You get some wow, cake. Get some okay. refreshments and stuff. Look uh, there's at ways that. in and out. There's another one on the other side, obviously. Oh. And here, Jev, you need to write your tale of how you defeated the pharaoh. Okay. I just think about this. I will come back to this. I promise. Fantastic. Fantastic. But yeah, now you know. Can't tell anybody else. Nope. This is just between you and super, me. Super secret. Yep. Super secret area. And yeah, the way you get out here is a little bit convoluted, but you have to back yeah. out and then hit the trap door. <laughs> I'm stuck. But congrats, man. Thank you. Congrats. Right. You've done it. It's in the game. That was fun.
in the next part of the video i do the elytra race with foss um there, there's like 15 hermits but it was foss's course now preface this content that i'm about to show you i thought that i hit all of the the targets or whatever but i actually missed three right away so my run was pretty much invalid from the start it was really bad when we come back though i will show you the proper run but yeah just know that me flying through here i legitimately thought wait <laughs> really really oh my god that's amazing okay anyways <laughs> that's so funny so anyways point being um you know th just kind of ignore the trash talk because i really thought i was winning but i really wasn't at all so well welcome everybody to the uh, elytra course the grand opening in Ooh. fact hello do a hi there for fun group race uh most of you don't know the course so this is going to be an interesting one and um i recommend at least two stack of stacks of rockets totems of undying if you have them uh maybe a good idea and try and get through i guess all 25 hoops if you can all right yeah listen you said it was for fun but i'm looking at etho and cub over there yeah. and they're they're giving me the competition eye right now i don't trust in. them i don't trust them in. that's what will come later when, when when we've got the leaderboard up there okay but yeah if you want to follow me then i'll show you where the start is i just gotta be jevin i'm happy nope <laughs> oh wait who's is, is, Joe, is Joe okay? How did you manage that? There's a solid yeah. block there. <laughs> I tried to come back down when you started the intro, but there was a light. Oh. I didn't know how to yeah. come back down and, and join y'all. <laughs> Joe's now installed in the ceiling. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, the start is going to be at the end of this uh, sort of walkway, and then the finish is actually down the bottom of the um, minecart rail that's attached to this side, so you'll sort of end up down there. Uh, that's sort of where the end is. So jumping, oh, okay. oh down there. Quite, 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 quite a far uh, uh, course. Uh, it's awesome. sort of basically I can see the first two. Where's in. the third one yeah. at? Is there is a third one around the, out there somewhere? Third one's, a third one's a little low and to the left. Okay. And then I would say a little low and to the left. Etho and Cub, it's to the right. This one's a bit challenging in the in the far distance. And we all anyway. just jumping off and going together. I think so. Same time. Yeah, time us, maybe. Yes. Uh, Same time. Let's do, let's do this. Yeah, if anyone, everyone wants to just line up at the end and then. Uh, mm -hmm. So, who wants to give us the count now? Where are we lining up? Like right here. Just, just right anywhere. Okay. Okay. Wherever we sit. Back up, back up, Jeff. Get out there, Jack. Get out there. Two blocks is not going to make a difference. All right, false. Your course. Go ahead. Okay. Count us in. If everyone's Lead ready. People have got some run ups, I think, going on. Three. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean. Two, <laughs> one, go! go, go, go. go. We gotta try to stay ahead. I, I missed the first one. I'm no, come, no, no. We believe in you. I'll oh, come no, back. Don't forget to fly into the third one. Hey, a bunch of people missed the third one. You guys, oh, third one. One. You guys oh, skip geez. three. Come on, you noobs! Wow, I got three. I got three. I got three. I got three. Extra points if you get through all of them. If Jevin got it, I got it because I'm right behind him. So. <laughs> you can't count when I'm oh, that one's a yeah, hard one. Oh, oh my god. Oh. That was so close. <laughs> Whoa, boy. Okay, okay. <laughs> Team. I thought you were a gonna. Ow. Yeah, he's got a good lead. This is fun. I don't know where to go. Oh my god, that was so hard. Oh, I'm I'm so lost right now. I don't know where to go. Oh, there we go. There we go. There it is. It's way on down oh, here. Oh my god. He's in a cave. Oh, cave. Oh, boy. Cave. Oh, boy. I'm going fast. Cave. It is. It's oh, yeah. fast. Oh, oh, wait, 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 where are you going? Wait, wait, Dude, I have no idea where to go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> second. Let's go. Yeah, Came back from last right, after missing the first backwards. one. Oh, the, man, that was um, <laughs> okay, well, I'm totally lost uh, now. Yeah, I got a little turned around. Impulse, you were flying. Holy smokes. All right, go this way. Good job, man. Thank you. Backwards. So I see the arrow oh, I going I yeah. backwards. <laughs> I, I went into the wrong area somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. Went in the wrong way. I don't know where. I don't know how to go to that last part there. Like I, I got totally lost. <laughs> I think I went into twenty four rather than like finding the other way. Yeah, you're going through backwards. I don't know. I don't even know which way to go. Here. So now that you've seen the the footage of that, it was a fun race, but. 
Like, I think like probably a, a half of the course was uh, disqualified for missing number three. So how you actually run the course is pretty cool. You go down. So my, the reason why I missed number three was because when I went through number two, I immediately saw that ring over there and I was like, oh my God, that's number three. So I'm just going to go there, but that's actually number three. So the rest of the course is pretty straightforward. There's some pretty like hard intersections to this course. The, the, I would say the hardest one is probably the large dip down that comes up a little bit and a little bit, but, um, this course is so much fun, by the way, like same with the boat course that she made, like false's base is amazing this season. This right here is probably the hardest one when you're racing. Um, and then towards the end of the course, I actually got lost. I was so confused. Hold on, let me eat some food. Okay. So as you come through here, you just got to fly over, go down. So getting towards this part is like, oh man, I'm doing so great. So I go through here and then I kind of missed this one. So I was like, uh oh, so I barely, barely made 21, but here I saw down there and I'm like, oh no, totally missed the gigantic arrow pointing me to 22. So by the time I had gotten here, I was like already last place. So pretty sure I didn't even complete the course in the run. Although I was like so confident, <laughs> so funny. Oh, good times, but you know what? I had fun and that's all that matters. By the way, guys, uh, now the video is pretty much done. There's going to be a ton of content coming out on the second channel this week as well. I got a bunch of uh, TCG matches with Cub, Etho, Scar, and some other fun content going up on there as well. Just stuff that doesn't really fit the main channel. So uh, I do hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, maybe consider subscribing. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great day and thank you all for watching. This is iJevin. Peace out, everybody.